Hello, a very warm good evening to all the viewers and welcome once again to yet another series of My View Board Education. This is me, Purnima, on behalf of ViewSonic India. And in today's webinar, we are going to talk about the subject which is feared by all the students, whether it's in India or globally, that is maths. I am pretty sure even as a child or even as a student of your, uh, in your younger age, and uh, for me also, maths was something I used to think about, oh my God, oh, maths exam is there, I have to think about it. You know, maths was that kind of subject for all of us. But what will I say, what, what would you think, what would be your response when you will see that maths can actually turn into an easy subject? Yeah, you heard it right. It can be actually an easy subject when you use the right kind of tools. And my view board present those tools to you. So in this webinar, we'll be understanding how, what are the different tools of my view board, which can make the difficult concepts of maths, especially when it comes to online teaching, how those tools can be used to make the maths teaching convenient for you, for your students, as well as you will be learning that how you can you know even create an online uh, interactive quiz using maths because generally when the maths thing comes to the mind of students and teachers they always take it to be okay this is going to be exactly like the books and there is nothing much creative we can do around and i am going to change that thing using my view board today so let's get started and understand the features of maths using my view board so as you can see on my screen right now, uh, I have currently used certain figures as you can see. So why don't you all let me know, it's very basic. What are the different kinds of shapes which are being shown on my screen? You can use the comment section to write your responses. It's very simple. And I'll show you how I have used this very simple background change or background management tool to create an interesting question here for the younger kids. So you see there are around, uh, there are six different shapes here, triangle, pentagon, square, rectangle, star shape, circle. So in a similar way, you can change the background and you can ask your students such very simple questions, for, especially for the primary classes, because what happens is that when we talk about the younger kids, they associate, their memory associate more things which are shown to them in an image format as compared to the text format. So for a longer memory retention for them, they remember things when they are in more colorful images so that they can associate and remember them for a longer period of time. So keeping that thing in mind, what you can do is that, uh, I'll just change the slide here, click on it. And at the bottom of my, my view board, this whiteboard, you can go to this background management here. And you can see a lot of pre-existing templates we have. What you can see is that you can go to my view board originals. Now this is where you will find a lot of pre-existing templates related to maths subject. So the initial slide which I was using was this one, as you can see on my screen right now. So when I use this slide, uh, let me just reuse it once again. And I'll quickly show you what kind of magic I want to create for my students. So these are the different shapes. Now what I can do is that I can play a small interactive quiz. So these are the different shapes and now I can ask my students right now, just like the way I'm conducting this webinar, I can turn on my video and then, uh, or even while I'm showing in an offline classroom, I can ask my students, okay, so okay, quickly tell me what is the shape of this particular figure shown here and they'll be answering as triangle like this, you can put and then you can keep on asking such questions or you can, you know, take your classroom like you are teaching as well as you are taking some feedback from them. So now you'll be answering, you, uh, you will be asking question, how many sides are there? 
of this figure and they will be answering according to it. Right? So, in this way, you can create an interesting lesson also. See, right now I am writing down and again I am using this text button option and see, I will write down about the square here. So, you can keep on adding the names and what I can do is that in fact, I can write it here. I can reduce the font size. Let me do that because it becomes easier for us to accommodate this. Yeah, like this. So, you can, uh, you know, create a small game. You can ask, uh, let's name these characters. So, how you can do is that what is the name of this character in yellow? That's triangle. And then you can drag and drop the name here. This is triangle. This is pentagon. So, you can ask, who am I? will raise the hand and say pentagon like this triangle pentagon square and this is rectangle let me write it down like this and this is a star let me keep it simple and put it as star only although you can ask that how many sides are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and this one is circle so, right now while I am talking to you on this webinar, I have created a small lesson for my students. So, for this, let's put a name for this lesson. Identify, identify me. Or let's play, let's put the game as who am I? Who am I? And like this, you can create a small lesson for your students i can move this around it like this see right away it didn't even took five minutes and your kids would definitely love and enjoy this kind of math scheme especially for the younger ones now in a similar way i'll just select the new temp new page here you can go to the background management go to my view board originals and there you will find a number of pre-existing templates which are definitely going to make maths easier for your students. So when I talk about that you can actually be a maths magician for your students, MVB tools, my Vivo tools are definitely going to help you for that. So you can see on my screen, let me select uh, something, another something for uh, younger kids and then we'll move on to some higher classes and see the tools for them. Okay. Okay, all right. Um, let me just select, yeah, this one. So this is another my view board original canvas I have. I can move this canvas out however I want. Right now I'm moving it like this. Now I have these four shapes, and for the primary classes what I can do is that whenever we talk about the shapes and we want to talk about the area and parameter so this kind of table can be very helpful for example how you can go about is that you put the text here so you can talk about shape then you can talk about area and here you can talk about perimeter like this and what you can do is that then keep on adding data here so that you can provide this as a pdf or as a photo or uh, like this you can share this direct content with your students and let me show you how you can do that let me just minimize my screen a bit so that yeah right so for example this is something you have here and now you can even play a small quiz in the class. You can ask uh, inputs from students and what should be the area I should feel here, fill here. Or what you can do is that you can put some wrong options here. And then you can ask your students that in which column should I move those options. So for example, um, let me put it here as now for the circle, the area is we talk about pi r square. So for that, 
drawing pi is going to be a little bit tricky and we have a tool for that also let me show you where you can find that tool now once again you go to the magic box here and you go to the tools option here and here you will find this math input panel you click on it or you can drag and drop it here this will open up like this and now what you can do is that you can use your mouse like this if you feel that something is not correctly written here you can simply you know write it once again or I can try writing it an R in this form so let me just make a try here how I'm going to write okay let me just input pi for the time being R definitely I can use my mouse and write even though if I'm not able to find it correctly okay so I'll just make make a change here and try writing it you have to spend some time obviously to get it right because okay all right so let me just uh, simply use the pi here okay now we have pi being inserted here pi and I'll use my pen option here to insert r square like this I can do like this and now what I can do is that I can ask my students where I should put in the shape or area or perimeter corresponding to circle so in that way I can ask my students to play a small quiz with me and now if you want to move this image what you can do is that you can even take a small image of it how you can do now I'll use the screenshot option I'll click on this screenshot option here I'll take a screenshot of it okay wait a minute okay let me undo it and use my screenshot in a proper manner yeah now I can ask and pi r square this is the area and from here I can remove the wrong options which I had put so in this way you can ask and play around using this background templates we'll go to the next slide and see what are the other tools you can use so while I was talking about magic box so the tools here here you will find some more tools which you can find uh, interesting for your maths classes now well, especially for the clock class for the time when we talk about the hands of the clock the seconds hour hand so like this you can use the clock op option here you can move it the way you want like this you can move your clock all of these tools you find in magic box tools and one by one we'll understand how you can use these tools when we are talking about the clocks we have this tool of a stopwatch now as a teacher I particularly find this tool very useful I we have discussed about this tool in our basic webinars where we talk about the basic features of my view board it's a stopwatch online where on the board where you can run this stopwatch like this to give a sense of urgency to the students that you know this is um, if you have given five minutes time for any subject or any topic so you can use this stopwatch to show the time to them like this you can use again I go to magic box and I go to tools and then I have this ruler option here I'll just show you how this particular tool for geometry teachers I feel that it's going to be very helpful uh, just a minute let me move it okay for geometry teachers I find this tool very helpful in the sense that what you can do is that uh, let me just move it yeah it was getting hidden behind this video okay so now you can uh, reduce the size of the scale like this if you want 10 centimeter you want to draw a line of six centimeter like this you can reduce the size of your scale 
go to this pen option select the color of your pen and then you can you know draw a line six centimeter like this and now what you can do is that if you want parallel lines of six centimeters like this you can again use this tool to draw parallel lines like this here so that's how you can make use of this scale tool and now what i can do is that i can move i can rotate it like this and i remember this chapter uh, from ncrt slavers that is about the parallel lines and the angles being made by them like this and when i talk about it so so for example i want to talk like this these are the two angles i want to talk about you know then there is this particular formula if i remember properly i can use it again to draw let me just roughly draw it that interior angles the sum of interior angles is 180 degree so that that's how i can also use this particular tool to show so i'll just show you the you can put the nomenclature as angle a angle b and a plus b is equal to 180 degree like this you can show the formulation so that's how you can use your this scale tool this option you can use you can rotate it the way you want like this either way you want you can rotate it and use it like this you can also use it in centimeters or in inches like that you want to use you can use so this was the tool available in magic box in the tools option similar way you have this option of protractor you can see like this i'm drawing certain lines here and then i can rotate it and in a similar way you have d like this very commonly used see it can be rotated and then you can draw any angles you want to draw like this you can use i'll just select the fresh page and when see we'll see another tools like a uh, compass here so like this you can use a compass as well see you can draw a circle 5.7 cm and you can reduce the size if you want and now you want to draw concentric circle so that way also you can isn't it so convenient because if it had come to me that i have to take a lesson on circles and i have to draw something online then i would have definitely used my view board so like this you can use and then you can talk about concentric circles you can close this option you can use the scale option again to draw something in this figure so that's how you can use the compass option here everything which is essential in your geometry box is there online in my view board we have this calculator as well you can feel free to use the calculator for doing your calculations you can use this one you you have under root you have square options you have division options as well and now i want to talk about another feature of coordinate geometry for that i'll use this background management go to the my view board i can select the math subject here and from here i'll take this background or i can take i want to take this kind of coordinate geometry background let me select the right one okay so we'll take this graph sheet only because i want to show you another function especially for the higher classes so this is how i am going to use my maths tool here i go to the tools i select this coordinate ones here and now i can use that x and y axis graph to draw a certain line i can align it however i want let's see how it functions you know you can see the coordinates working there moving here so you you can make changes accordingly 
like this way you can use you can use the scale option here selecting from the different options available here or you can remove the background as well so either way you can make use of this also for coordinate geometry and now we have this compass as well this is another compass tool math tool which you can use and the math input panel for that i'll take a fresh sheet and i'll show you how this math input panel we were talking about it right now only so for example i want to talk about this particular formula of algebra and i find it tough to write on screen and i want my students to have a proper formula written with them like this okay uh, let me just write it more clearly right and now what i'll do is that i can simply insert this formula here as you can see so this is the very basic algebra formula which i have inserted using my math panel in the similar way you can also do you can go to the maths tool go to the tools and from there you can select now this is a simple dice option which you can explore to play a game or something like that and i want to talk about another tool so for example you want to talk about a pythagoras theorem and for that i would change the background first i'll let's let me select this one okay uh, this is the background i have changed and now i want to talk about the pythagoras theorem and i have to draw a triangle so for that i can go on this shapes and lines tool and there if you double click on it you can find the tools the shapes in triangle in rectangle square circle and this format then you can find 2d 3d images as well so if i want to draw a triangle like this i can select like this this tool i have selected from here shapes and size tool i selected the triangular one from here and if i want another triangular image i can keep like this and if you want to keep the measurements you want to show the measurement you click on the image here you will find a number of options so for example if this is the triangle i want to fill the color uh, white color i want to fill so like this i can fill and i can show the measurements also so this is the kind of isosceles triangle i have made the isosceles triangle having two sides of equal measurement like this i have made here now this is the triangle right angle triangle i click on this image let me select this image now i can fill the color differently some brighter color let me select okay and i can show the measurements for this as well and that's how i can talk about the triangles now if i want to rotate this image i have this option see i can flip uh, let me just rotate it here like this i can flip or i can just simply move it like this either way i can do and now when i want to talk about the pythagoras theorem here so what i can do is that i can first put the names of the sides i'll select my text input tool and even if i'm not sure i'll double click on it and whatever i'll write it will convert my handwriting to text just a minute like this you can see i'll just show you once again what you can do is that let me undo it and now you double click on it now this handwriting to text option is activated whatever you write you click on this lower button here it will convert your handwriting to text okay and then you select it and you can move it like this 
So if you find it a bit of a difficult option, you can simply type all the points first and then it will convert your like this and then you go to the select and then you can select separately. So uh, I think you have to write it separately. So I'll just remove it for the time being. Okay. And you can move it here. And then this will be my C side. So let me just redraw it as C side. Okay. And now you can click on it again. I'll draw it as C. Let me see what it's converting. Okay. Right. Now, all of these things you can do before you start your class so that uh, you have prepared your lesson. Now, like this, you talk about this Pythagoras theorem using this triangle. I go to my text option again and I put like this. I can put and I can put a background color. Let me put it white. Let's see how it shows up. Okay. I have to select it first. Yeah. I'll select the white one. Yeah. So that's how I can uh, create a lesson using Pythagoras theorem. And then I can write about the Pythagoras theorem that I'll use my pen option here. Keeping it very simple. A square plus B square is equal to C square like this. I can take a chapter with my students. So there are n number of tools for you to explore in my view board related to maths and you can use according to your wish and then make interesting lessons for your students. So just a quick recap for the all age group when we started off with the basics one like this and like this you can create you can use background management and then you can use the different tools available in magic box you go to the tools here and you can select the tools from here and then you can create your lessons like this you can use the math input panel to create to write the equations and formulas especially for the science teachers as well now when you see the you click on shapes here you find different color shapes you can select according to your wish and then at the same time you have 3d shapes as well as you can see right now i don't require 3d shape right now in my pythagoras but if you require you can put you can select a number of shapes while you talk about the geometry classes especially for your students to learn so these are some of the basic tools which can help you get started and make your mundane maths classes into quite an exciting option for the students that they look forward to attend your classes. And I am pretty sure that definitely the students would love the way you'll teach using my Vivo tools because these tools while I was creating, they were helping me, they were making my fear of maths go away. So I can only imagine the kind of interest it's gonna generate in your students. Go ahead, try these tools and share your feedbacks with us in the comment section and you can always come back and watch the recording of these our webinars. For all the basic features and how to get started with my view board, you can check the previously recorded versions of our webinars on our my view board classroom page. There you can find all of our videos and even on ViewSonic India page you can find Join our Facebook community, My View Board uh, Educators Community of India, where you can get regular updates where, about the certification programs, about the goodies we are giving to the teachers and also the subject specific content we are creating based on your NCRT syllabus. So go ahead, follow and join that group. Please don't forget to share your feedback and suggestions. That's me, Purnima, signing off on behalf of ViewSonic India. I really want to see you guys doing magic in your maths classroom.
that's all from my side thank you so much have a good day